Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he needs them. There are black belts, and there are guys like this who can do jiu-jitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom, right. but his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half yeah, His striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee steps inside the octagon. He's ready to fight. Or tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules and hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. Lee gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Kick and tap gets blocked. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to break the fight into a closer distance. Miss with that jab attempt. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Oh, nice. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by an ever-improving Juicy A for me. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Formiga gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. 
How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Three minutes to go. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Just misses with that one. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Lee's now switching his stance. there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Under two minutes now to go. Quick jab lands here. kick lands. Pretty nice lead right there by Formiga. Oh, great block there. And just misses with that big right hand. Under a minute now to go. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Keep the pressure on. Final seconds here. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. All right, take a seat, Benny, bud. Breathe. Get a deep breath in. All right, here's some water. Ready? Listen. All right. And you're doing awesome out there. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Oh, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. Nice punch, Lance. And he comes through with a big knee. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, there. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that master shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. 
hole. Nice body shot. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Throws that deep and it lands. Flamingo's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Come on, drop the hammer. What a stop. Side kick, well done. Well, that combination's gonna test his chin nicely done. Just over three minutes to go now. there by an ever-improving Juicy A for me. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Just over two minutes to go. Barely missed on that right here on the inside. Nice strike landed there by Formiga. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Let's go, you gotta shoot for that takedown. Let's go. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night that land. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Under a minute now to go in the round. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. A swing and a miss by Lee. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, gotta be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. There's that head kick. Two rounds in the books. Hey, stop. Well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should laud the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. You ready to fight? You ready? Third, Third round, round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, most fighters keep... He's in a ton of trouble right now. Just misses there with the left. 
front kick to the body by an ever-improving Juicy A. Formiga. Big power shot there. Another nasty punch lands. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Right on the button. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Nice straight left hand. that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Combinations here. Oh, a big left hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. His nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. One minute. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but he got to the output here down the stretch. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn, the round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, 
That is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle there. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. And man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting tonight. Pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters, and it shows in the way they're approaching round number two. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. going for the body, miss with that kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And able to avoid the punch there, nice slip by Lee. Big inside kick. Yeah, he's got to, he's got to start checking kicks. He threw the fly Lee and it landed to the head. Formiga gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big shot lands for both guys. Just over three minutes to go. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Formiga's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Just out of range with that right hook. Just over two minutes to go. Able to check the high kick. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Lands a nice leg kick. He's worked. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Ooh, big head kick. He's throwing these punches in combination. Really dictate the face to his opponent. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Attack that gut. Let's go. Get it. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Formiga. Under a minute to go. Yeah. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Big kick lands. Leg right. kick lands, my favorite strike. Just out of the range with that right hand. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Final seconds here. Horn sounds 
Let's win the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready. And final round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, roundhouse kick. Oh, flying knee right on the chin. Good straight hand there by an ever-improving 2CA for me. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Oh, back and forth we go. And he blocked the punch there. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just missed with the left there. Nice leg kick there by Lee. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Nice job to control the range and using his reach advantage to, the, to get that punch home. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Jab snaps the head back. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. There's that side kick. Circling towards the left now. Work, guys, come on. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Well, you can feel that freeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Formiga. Unable to connect there. Straight right hand now, just misses. Formiga gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Nice punch to the head. Beautiful leg 
high kick lands. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Way to test the chin there. Landed a beautiful combination to the head. Formiga gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Fighter lands a left punch, nicely done. Right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to 